Hello everybody, I'm Derek Teppers. Welcome aboard! Welcome to Nook Greenland, Greenland uh, if I can say it properly. And aboard our Bell Huey H UH1 that I've already done before! You know what that means? That means this is scenery. Yep! This is the Nook Greenland scenery pack. This does not look anything like this in the base game. This is actually a quite a beautiful piece of scenery and quite detailed. We're going to take a little buzz about in our helicopter here. Let's close our doors because it's really cold here in Greenland. Let's get in our helicopter. All right, let's take off. Now let's check out this livery, this livery, no, scenery pack. All right. Now, first things first. Let's talk about the price of the scenery pack. This is a $17 pack of scenery. This is payware. This is DLC. This costs you money. So, if you like flying in and out of Greenland, it might be something to check out. It's pretty cool. It's got the, the buildings up there. You got this nice set of... Shush, little dude. Uh, hangers in here uh, with the Air Greenland aircraft hanging out. You got some Dash 8s, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like some Dash 8s. There's actually a helicopter that flies in and out of here every once in a while. Um, it's on some sort of schedule. I don't know what the schedule actually is, but it does. there is a helicopter that flies in and out of here from time to time. A little equipment driving around. Uh, it is a beautiful looking little airport. And actually, when I loaded up, I was like, oh my God, I want to go visit Nook Greenland because I think that looks beautiful. Uh, they also did model some of the, the glaciers and such around. Let's just be honest. I, it's white snow. The end of the runway has the path lighting that comes in. That actually is pretty wicked in the way it is. It actually is elevated above the runway. It does force a glide slope on you. Uh, you might say, well, that's a good thing. But there's a problem with it in my mind, personally. Um, shut up, dude. Uh, in my mind, it's like, oh my god, I'm going to hit the thing! I mean, you won't, because your glide slope will be proper and you won't smack into them. But it's it's interesting to see them out here. Um, at night, it's really neat, but if, if I play, if I do this record at night, um, it'll be so dark you won't be able to see a dang thing because of YouTube. But pretty nice looking there. Pretty nice looking. Alright, that's not all, of course, because as with most scenery packs, it's not just the immediate airport it's the uh, surrounding area let's get outside really quick over here we got ourselves a working mine of some description look at that he's loading up a dump truck right there look at that yeah there's a lot of interesting little bits and bobs throughout here so you got all of these buildings these are all custom buildings. I mean, you'll see some repeats, but obviously these buildings are not anything like the stock Flight Simulator X buildings in any way, shape, or form. The eagle-eyed amongst you have already seen one interesting thing, haven't you? Yep, there's a sunken ship right over here. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, let's go over there. Let's go, helicopter. Let's go. It is a pretty large area that is covered. You see wherever these um, little icebergs are, it pretty much denotes the coverage, though not completely, I will say. Um, there are some icebergs that appear elsewhere, but yeah, overall. If you see the icebergs, or you see the, the beautiful modeled scenery, you know you're inside the scenery pack. It seamlessly blends with the area outside the scenery pack, at least to me. Um, so it looks pretty good. There is a sunken ship. Beautiful, beautiful sunken ship. And you got all these iced in boats, which I think is absolutely amazing. Um, cars, uh, uh, cars? Those aren't cars. Those are boats on the marina. So that's pretty cool. And you got all these different buildings. And there's more. I mean, there is stuff being built still. Uh, somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, I think it's over here. Let's get actually in the helicopter. Don't sink. Don't, let's not look that direction because we'll crash. Um, ignore the man who keeps saying don't sink because I've not ever fixed that. I like the helicopter. Don't I just sink. hate that. Um, <laughs> there's boats that do tool in and out of the harbor. There is actually somewhere. Every once in a while, there's a whale that breaches the surface. 
it's absolutely amazing when you catch it you're like oh that's so cool i saw it so yeah there's a whale we got the boats here looking pretty cool they look all like they're ready to go out and do boat based things whatever those are uh somewhere there is actually buildings under construction i just gotta find them now like friday harbor you have to think about how much you're going to actually fly around in in greenland now if you're not going to fly around in greenland at all you might say well what's the point of buying the scenery pack and you'd be right but if you want to explore Greenland, there's a building under construction right there. You see the crane is there. And look at the shadowing. The crane actually casts a shadow. That's cool. Um, <laughs> I know. It sounded like I was completely like, oh, that's just cool. But no, it really is. Uh, there's a, there's a, a radome over there. There's this little hangar-looking building. Um, scenery does that weird stuff. But that's been doing that in my base game for a long time. So, yeah, that's not the scenery pack. But it looks absolutely gorgeous down there. It really allows you to do VFR flying. Again, though, if you never go to Greenland, you're probably not going to get anything out of this pack. <laughs> I don't always go to Greenland, but I actually have a reason for this pack, which is outside of this game. But I, I really like what, what's been done here. <laughs> it, it does beg the question of, is it worth it? And I would say if you can get it, at a discount or if you love going to Greenland if you love the idea of going to Greenland if I'd switch this back over to um, spring summer like it's supposed to be um, it would look greenish green but I wanted to do winter because woo, winter uh, I don't know why I wanted to do winter but I did uh, there is more scenery somewhere uh, there over there more more buildings there's um, going up over that ridge line there. You see those power lines? Yep, they actually go up over the ridge line. Uh, they, they stop when they get over the ridge line, and I followed them. I actually had to go get a powerful vehicle to go chase. Actually, did I use this one? No, I used the Cobra. I used the Cobra gunship to go chase them because it has a more powerful engine and less to lift. But it's really neat. I really like what they've done with this pack. And I think it's worth considering either because you want to do a lot of Greenland flying or maybe you just love beautiful scenery. I happen to think it's beautiful. I love the path lighting at the end of the runway. I love the little details of like the helicopter that flies in and out of here. I, like I said, I have yet to figure out his schedule, but the, the helicopter comes in and out and I don't, I don't really know what the schedule is. I love that they've got the, the dash four or the dash eights in the, um, in the hangars like they're they're getting maintenance done on them and you can kind of get in there and kind of see what they're doing if we can slow this roll down here so we don't crash stop flying forward please and i'd like you to go down thank you don't sink there we go you can sort of see what's going on in there whoa doggy yeah i'm not a good helicopter pilot so you know whatever <laughs> Whoa. Uh, but it's a beautiful scenery pack again $17 for the scenery pack if you fly into Greenland a lot or you just want to practice in like winter snowy conditions and something like Alaska X is out of your price range Alaska X is really expensive this might be a good uh, a good primer on winter flying or high north flying um, it de definitely out whoa, out this far, you do have issues with compass flight. You're starting to get high enough north that you do have to deal with deviation of your compass. So that's an interesting thing to do. Can we actually make this landing without dying? I think we can. Look at that. All right, we made it, guys. We made it back to Nook. Greenland. Scenery pack. Link to the scenery pack on the Steam page is in the description as always. It's a neat looking pack. I think it's a great, great thing to add to your game. Um, I, I enjoy it, but hey, your mileage may vary, I guess is the, the point I'm trying to make here. Until next time, when we will have an airplane. I've been Derek Tebbers. This has been your Flight Simulator X Scenery Spotlight, the payware Nook Greenland Scenery.
at all those little vehicles running around. Uh, I wonder what he's got in his uh, in his little forklift. Ooh, maybe a fish. Mm, fish. 